What's up guys, Zinigami here, and let's go over some more One Piece Treasure Cruise news. On the global version of One Piece Treasure Cruise, we have our next Colosseums coming out, that is Global Frankie Colosseum. These other Colosseums coming out with him include are the Brogy Colosseum and the Yoko Zauna Colosseum, that the frog thing. The frog thing is useless, you don't have to worry about him at all, you can get a copy for your Pokedex and not worry about it. Brogy is slightly useful in combination with Dory as a two times powerhouse boosting a special if you use both of them together. And he's got like about a thousand attack if you want another Psy Slasher. Or is he, no, yeah, he's a Psy Slasher. So he's yeah, a little, in, little useful, but not that great. Frankie Coliseum is not the strongest one, but does have his uses. Not the biggest, flashiest Coliseum around, but they are all. Uh, Frankie is. A little bit useful. The rest are, eh, you don't really need to worry about them too much. And don't forget to do your free pulls on the global version too. There are free pulls every single day. No reason to save them because if that 24 hours pass, then you will lose your pulls. Make sure you do that pull every day. You cannot save them. On the Japanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise, we're getting the Valentine's Day Margaret, which actually is less revealing than the average Margaret. Good on you, Valentine's Day, Margaret. We don't know what she does yet. We will know later on after the 7th comes out. I do not recommend doing pulls just for her. But you can always wait until a Seagull Fest and do pulls during that Seagull Fest to try to get, get them. The uh, next Fortnite Island of Japan is already announced. That's going to be the Viola or Protect Viola something about protecting Viola Fortnite. That's going to have a Viola, a Sanji at some type. And we're going to get... Jinbei, six star Jinbei skill books, and others. So, six star Jinbei skill books have also been out on one of the CP9 uh, undercover Fortnites before. So, we still don't have one of the new ones yet. The rest of the skill books include Doc Q and some other ones, Doc Q, Lao G. These will all be on the database if you check it out. It'll have the full list there. Or, once the seventh comes around, you can click on the orange button and find out what skill books they are. We don't know what the condition is yet, and we'll find out more about that later in the mail if you go to your mail this one or whichever one you scroll down and it doesn't clear away has the five star plus evolution skulls for Usopp is the first one then Sanji then Chopper now all the plus evolutions are already on the database you can find go there to find out what they do but I'll go ahead and tell you here the Usopp or the Soga King one 5 plus Soga King is a Psy shooter. He still is only a shooter. He doesn't get a second class. That would have been a really nice addition to the 5 plus version if they gave him some sort of secondary class. We don't know what his max attack is yet. He has, uh, still has 3 sockets just like Soga King does. His captain ability boosts the attack of shooters by 2 times and boosts their recovery by 1.25 times. So not the best captain ability. His special ability deals side damage to all enemies and delays enemies by 3 turns. So basically the same dam same special as Soga King, but now it goes down to a 12 turn cooldown. Which is much better than the 15 turn, but may or may not be as useful as the 10 turn. So uh, should you get the 5 plus Soga King? Here's the thing. If you have... I would... Still 100% recommend everybody keep a Golden Hunt Usopp around because there are plenty of times when you want to have that 10 turn cooldown. Now that's not all the time. The difference between 10 turn cooldown and 12 turns is not that big in most situations. In many situations a 12 turn cooldown is perfectly good and this way you get better stats and you get a little bit of damage and uh, you get an extra socket which is all very important. But there are also lots of times when you need those 10 turn cooldown to be like right at 10 turns and going to use the special again. Like a Colosseum stage that has multiple bosses where you might use Golden Punk Usopp special on stage 3 and stage 4 or maybe even stage 3 and stage 5. And you want to have his special cooldown ready immediately. You can't spare those two turns because the stalling is so tight that Golden Punk Usopp needs to have that 10 turn cooldown. But a 12 turn cooldown is more than enough to be ready for like any raid bosses and stuff. So I would keep around one Golden Hunt Usopp and maybe a 5 plus Soga King instead of having two Golden Hunt Usopps around for different sockets and stuff like that. Sanji is the next one. Sanji's captain ability is actually really good. Sanji's captain ability is boosts the attack of powerhouse characters by 2.5 times and reduces damage taken by 10%. This is a amazing powerhouse free-to-play captain because 
there is no other 2.5 times attack powerhouse character. We do have Colosseum Dellinger, who is a 2.75 times attack captain, but also has really big drawbacks in taking extra damage and reducing your overall health. Just like, um, so using Dellinger would be like using a raid boss chopper where if you don't take any damage he's great but if you do take damage you're probably going to die very very quickly but Sanji is a great just solid powerhouse captain he's probably the second best free to play powerhouse captain besides Pika is so amazing powerhouse captain his special ability if you uh, is to a multi-stage special where in the first stage it's a 10 turn cooldown to deal 5,000 fixed damage and boots his own attack by 1.2 times. So uh, it is exactly a the same thing as his five star version, except now also boots his attack by a small amount. Stage two on a 15 turn cooldown deals 50,000 fixed damage, and uh, that's to all enemies, and boots his own attack by 1.5 times for one turn. So that's gonna be very, very useful on getting through things that you can't uh, beat their armor on. For example, that 50,000 damage is a very quick way to kill the princess turtle. Um, and a very, it's very easy to get a max special 5 plus Sanji since you can get those 5 star Sanji books pretty easily. And getting that... Uh, Using that 50,000 damage will kill the Princess Turtle. So that's going to be two turns faster than using a Nell. Like I personally am using a Nell to kill the Princess Turtle on my Princess Turtle team. And now I can use 5 plus Sanji which will save me two turns of stalling. Which isn't that much. But whenever you're trying to get Princess Turtle runs as quickly as possible. Then you really... You know, those two turns actually save a lot of time. It can get you an extra run if you can. So 5 plus Sanji is personally the one I'm getting. Because a great captain ability and a very useful special ability, especially for Princess Turtles. And then you have 5 plus Chopper, which is the last one. Chopper is the heavy point Chopper, is the one he evolves from, the Psy Chopper. He becomes a Psy Fighter Free Spirit character. So make sure you, it only evolves from the Psy Chopper. You can't evolve any of the other version 1 Choppers. This is a Psy Heavy Point Chopper, the one that the version 1 Chopper evolves into. His max attack is 1,200 attack, which is pretty nice. His captain ability boosts the attack of fighters by 2.5 times. This is a very good fighter captain ability. The best, na this he now just is straight up better than Zeph because Zeph is also a 2.5 times attack captain, but he has pretty low stats and Chopper has pretty good stats at 1,250 is pretty good. So a very good fighter captain. His special ability deal side damage according to how much health you have the higher your health the more damage he does and he also changes any block orbs or bother orbs on fighter characters into matching orbs on a 12 turn cooldown so that's a pretty useful special ability changing block orbs into matching orbs and also dealing damage based on your health he has a very good fighter captain ability as well so if you don't have a zeph or you don't have a Jinbei as one of your other fighter captains, then that one's pretty good. So I already got my skull. I got the Sanji skull. Where are you, Sanji? There you are. Remember that you don't need to max out a character's level in order to max, uh, in order to evolve them to their plus version. You can evolve them at any level. There is my Sanji skull, and we will hit evolve. Now they do. It does cost more, so you can't use it on like a Sengoku team anymore. Well, there you go. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Sanji. Keeps the same sockets. You can always unevolve it if you want, but then you have to farm for their skull once again. All these characters, you can farm for their skull on story mode. There's the multi-stage special, 50,000 fixed damage, and 1.5 times boost to his own attack. He has at least. A, it looks like it's gonna be maybe like a 1,400 attack. I would guess uh, based on what it is right now. So that's a pretty good attack. Uh, if you do, whichever one you don't pick, you can farm for them on the story mode. Have I gotten far enough to show off which one they come from? Yeah, okay, so let's see. I think it's stage 7 is one of them. No, which one is it? Uh, I don't remember. No, 3 day 2 year? Which one is it? 
Oh, this one. Sorry. Wrong wrong island. Wrong island. Ha! Huh. That's why. Three day to your island. Stage six. Nope. Ah, oh, there it is. Stage six has the Usopp. Stage seven has the Chopper. And stage 13 has the Sanji. So remember those you can farm for on story mode as well. And it has a very low drop rate normally. Just like trying to get a story mode character, very low drop rate on those skulls. But you can farm them. Chopper on stage 7. Sanji on, I mean, Usopp on stage 6. And Sanji on stage 13. Also the one last piece of news I want to go over is that we are getting the... Uh, it looks like we got spoiled on Twitter. Don Chinjao as our next Coliseum on Japan. So Don Chinjao looks like our, gonna be our next Coliseum. Which is going to be nice, not only for his farmable sockets, but... He's a good character. I'm hoping he's going to be a good Coliseum character too. Guys, pick your 5 star plus character. You can farm for the others. I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all stay beautiful.